Welcome back to Behind the Mask. Today we're talking about Cupid, and oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Cupid is technically a love song, but it's a confusing one at that. Similarly to Happy Ending, this song isn't actually based on me or anyone in particular. The person in this song has fallen in love, and they're acting irrationally. One could say they're kind of crazy. Okay, a lot of crazy, but that's besides the point. They're both drawn in and anxious, but they feel that this feeling is too great to pass up. Here's where it gets confusing. Second verse goes from them being deeply in love to sounding deeply heartbroken. And yes, it technically does, but that's not what I was going for here. A person is saying a lot of things here. They acknowledge that the relationship isn't perfect and that they're easily manipulated, but then they say it's causing emotional pain. Again, they're going crazy. All in all, this verse isn't saying they're heartbroken, it's saying they're struggling with an imaginary dilemma of whether or not this person is who they claim to be. <laughs> Does that make sense? By the third verse, they've decided to take the risk and presumably tell this person how they feel. They're still a little scared of feeling hurt, but they're ready for whatever happens, and then they change their mind again. Okay, that was a lot. Uh, hopefully that made at least some sense. All in all, this person is in love and indecisive, I think. Writing this script was really hard because honestly, even I have no clue what was going on with this song. Kind of like how the whole album turned out. I feel like Red Josh wrote this because I wanted to write it and didn't have a specific meaning in mind, but it kind of turned into a jumbled mess of bouncing back and forth between I'm in love, I'm not in love, I'm in love, I'm not in love, I'm in love, I'm not in love. It was very confusing. <laughs> uh, yeah.